Hey gang, Scott here. So I've posted a couple of videos about Topaz Sharpen AI in the last week or so. Got some questions about folks with uh, On One as their ecosystem, their hub for their photography, and can I do a round trip to Sharpen AI? Yes, you absolutely can. It's very straightforward, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. If you're thinking about adding either On One or Topaz products to your toolkits, please check the show notes. Use the links I have down there. I've got offer codes that'll save you a little bit of money. If you use those links, those offer for codes gives me a little bit of support doesn't cost you anything extra and I can do more videos like this so let's have a look at this round trip I'm here in browse in photo raw and I have this photo here that I want to send over in to sharpen AI to really bring out some of the, the detail and the texture that's in this you know this old uh, old house here and so the reason I want to stay in the grid view is so I can show you what's going to happen. So the round trip process fundamentally will do three things. It will create a new file. So it has to take, Alma has to take all the changes it's made, put it into a new file, a TIFF format for, uh, for Sharpen AI works very well. We'll send it over into Sharpen AI and do some adjustments. And then Sharpen AI will save those and update the TIFF file. And all that will land in the same folder that you already have active here in Photo Raw. So I'm in this folder here across the top. Uh, the very first thing we'll do is have the file selected. I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm looking for send to Topaz Sharpen AI. If you do not see that, click send to other application. You'll get that pop up on your screen, whether it's you know the Mac OS one or the Windows one. Navigate to where your Sharpen AI application is and pick it. And then from that point forward, it will be here in your menu. Since I've done this once already, I'll click that and it will send this photo over. We have a choice. We can either edit the original, which is the raw, which would still create a new file, but we don't really want to do that because I've done some changes, right? I want to take these edits I've done in Photo Raw, I've done my basic raw processing here, and send that over into Topaz. So edit a copy with settings applied, my file formats. I like to use TIFF for, uh, for Sharpen AI, works quite well. Click edit and that will launch this photo into Topaz Sharpen AI. So Sharpen AI opens up with the photo we sent over, it's loaded. I wanna jump back over to browse for just a moment so you can see what happened underneath, under the, under the covers here. So let's go back over to browse. And you see now I have three files in this folder. Uh, the one that I selected and said, please send this to Topaz. Uh, and then right next to it, I have one with this copy.tiff file. This is the TIFF that was created by that little pop-up we had where we said we wanted to edit a copy with adjustments. So Photo Raw created a TIFF file, took that TIFF, and sent the TIFF over into Sharpen AI. So in Sharpen AI, we are working now with this TIFF file. We can see that down in the lower left corner. We see the name of that file, copy.tiff, right? And from here, we just do our normal adjustments, right? And uh, at the moment, um, it looks like I've got too soft, which is what I want for general sharpening. Uh, this wasn't a, you know, a motion blur thing. It's just I want a little bit crisp. Uh, auto settings here. Let's just take a quick look at the original. There's the sharpened one. You know, that's fine. You can always do your tweaks and things like that in Sharpen AI, figure out what the best settings for your particular photo. Different videos on that. We'll click Apply. We're done in Sharpen AI. We want to send those changes back over, and commit them to the TIFF file, and have those appear in Photo Raw. So once that round trip is done, Sharpen AI finishes up, closes down. We land back over in Browse, and we'll notice that the TIFF file is here, but it is now sharp. If I zoom in, all right, 100%. We see that sharpness here, right? We see that extra detail. So Sharpen AI has modified that TIFF file, and that is the round trip. You know, it landed right back where we started from. So launching it from browse, send to other application, choose your Topaz Sharpen AI, do your edits, and things will land back in. Works very smoothly, very cleanly. Any other questions, you go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.